Greetings guys, this is Magnanimous Minds Lecture Sol 9. Today we are doing mathematics and four graphs and we are given an equation y minus 3 equals to x squared and we are told to sketch the graph. I'm sure uh, by now you know that when you are given uh, an equation you have to put it in standard form and having an equation whereby it has x squared we know that the standard uh, this graph is a parabola because of this x squared and the standard uh, formula for a parabola is y equals to a x squared plus b x plus c and from this if you are to put that into the standard form we're going to have y and then this 3 is not supposed to be this side we take it to the other side so it's going to be x squared and then our b we do not have a b here uh, so we don't have this part we only have the c which is this three which we have taken to the other side it's going to be plus three and then again before like uh, sketching this graph we know it's a parabola and our a is positive so it's uh, looking upwards but then we do not know where it's touching uh, the x-axis we only know where it's touching the y-axis because c is the y-intercept so we are going to see y-intercept to get the y-intercept x equals to zero therefore y equals to zero squared plus three y equals to three Therefore, the point of y-intercept is going to be 0 and 3. And then, again, uh, we are going to calculate the, what do you call, the x-intercept. And to calculate the x-intercept, we are going to see y equals to 0. Then, having y equals to 0 we are going to have x squared plus 3 and then trying to solve for x we are going to have x squared equals to negative 3 and then if you check this up to so far we can solve this especially when it comes to graphs so we are going to see it's not applicable so our graph doesn't uh, touch the x-axis and then another thing to look at is the turning point turning point the x value of the turning point is given by the equation x equals to negative b over 2a And then in this case, our b is 0, so it's going to be negative 0 over 2, and our a is 1, so it's going to be 0. And then if we check for an x value which is 0, we've got 3. So similarly here, our turning point is going to be 0 and 3. And then we be go back to the Cartesian plane, we mark those points the y-intercept and the turning point so x is 0 here and y is 3 right here this is the turning point and the y-intercept so our graph is going this way and that's it thanks for watching magnanimous minds lectures online please do subscribe to our channel as well as liking our social media platforms Facebook, we are Magnanimous Minds. Instagram, Magnanimous underscore Minds. Twitter, we are at Magnanimous Minds 1. Thank you.